Nevada, home of casinos, impulse weddings, legal brothels, and as of July 1st, recreational marijuana. The truth is, the state has never been anything close to a free market paradise. Everything from the Las Vegas taxi industry to prostitution is controlled by a handful of politically connected companies licensed to operate by the government. This means exorbitant prices and unnecessary hassles for customers and businesses. The latest industry to take hold here, legal weed, is no exception. Governor Brian Sandoval recently declared a state of emergency because Nevada's 37 licensed marijuana shops are running out of inventory. How could that be? The law legalizing weed in Nevada also granted an 18-month monopoly on distribution to liquor companies. Not only do alcohol wholesalers lack the experience or infrastructure to transport marijuana, most are too afraid to even enter the market because they're regulated by the federal government and marijuana is still considered illegal on the federal level. And there isn't a shortage of cannabis as much as there is a shortage of distributors. Armin Yemenijan, the owner of Essence, a marijuana dispensary just north of the Vegas Strip, started out running a facility for medical marijuana, which was legalized in Nevada back in 2015. When he was dealing with medical cannabis, his employees simply moved inventory from the grow house to the storefront themselves. Now that Essence is selling recreational marijuana, that's no longer an option. Our cultivation facility is no more than a couple miles from our dispensary. Even worse, there are some cultivations that are in the same building as the dispensaries. The medical market faced other regulatory hurdles, which is one reason the line on the medical side of the store has nobody standing in it. If you're using the penetration rates from other states, we should have had 50 to 60,000 medical patients. In the process of obtaining a card and that you were in the state's database and that you couldn't have a CCW and the fact that sometimes it took patients up to six months to get a card really discouraged a lot of patients from getting their medical cards. Yemenijan says he's managed to work out a temporary deal with a liquor distributor to keep his shelves stocked for the time being. But other stores are running dangerously low on inventory. The state is trying to devise a workaround that would allow some marijuana sellers to move their own product again. Recreational marijuana has the potential to provide visitors to Sin City an especially fun and safe way to enjoy themselves. And it could be a huge boon to the state economy but it won't live up to its full potential until politicians stop using every vice as a means to reward special interests. You have to treat it like any other business. It doesn't make sense to overregulate because at that point, all that cost is is passed on to the consumer. If the prices were a little lower, probably take away from the black market as opposed to giving people a reason to go to the black market.